Hello everybody, welcome to the Rusty Traveler. Subscribe to this channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any updates on travel openings in Southeast Asia. Now let's get going to Phuket and find out what's going on. Phuket has announced a reopening July 1st of 2021. This reopening has been called the Phuket Sandbox. Tourism Authority of Thailand has sent out a letter to people in the tourism industry saying that Phuket will open to vaccinated foreign tourists from the 1st of July. Travelers do not need to do quarantine. They must stay in Phuket for at least 14 days and then will be allowed to visit other destinations in Thailand. So who can travel to Phuket from abroad? Big question. Vaccinated foreign travelers from low and medium risk countries only right now. Unvaccinated children under 12 years old. Unvaccinated children between 12 years old and 18 years old. A rapid antigen test upon arrival is required from those children that are over the age of 12. Unvaccinated adult travelers will be required to undergo mandatory quarantine at all ALQ hotels in Phuket for 14 days. So here are the requirements of the Phuket Sandbox. You must stay in an SHA accredited hotel in Phuket only and there will be a list released soon on those that have been accredited. You must fly directly to Phuket from abroad. If you are staying less than 14 days in Phuket, you must fly out of Phuket to an international destination. If you are staying for 14 days or more in Phuket, you will then be able to travel to any domestic destination in Thailand. All of this information may change as soon as the list of low and medium risk countries becomes eligible for the Phuket Sandbox program and the list of accredited hotels will be released sometime in June 2021. I do want to mention some more information that I've received that there is a possibility that the government of Thailand may be offering hotels for a dollar a night to try to promote people coming to Phuket. And if it's successful, this may extend to other uh, areas as well to get the tourism bus rolling again. So stay tuned for that. No formal announcement yet. It's just in discussion. The Tourism and Sports Ministry admitted today that a last minute change in the Phuket sandbox plan has happened before being submitted to the government for approval from 7 to 14 days required to Phuket for all arrivals will likely decrease by half the number of travelers who come. So by increasing this number of days, it's probably going to have a negative effect on the reopening. Extending the time required in Phuket before being allowed to travel throughout Thailand has frustrated and disenfranchised many would-be international tourists. Tourism and Sports Minister says that if there are no new infections in July in the sandbox, can plan to be revised again back to the original seven-day waiting period upon arrival. To be clear, the 14-day span is not a quarantine. Tourist arrivals will be allowed to roam Phuket Island freely and take part in many attractions and activities and will not be confined to their hotel room. All travel off the island, including day trips and excursions out of province, will be strictly forbidden. But trips to islands close to Phuket's coast, like the Coral Island, Naka Island, Coconut Island, and Racha Island are expected to be permitted. More information to follow. The Ministry will work alongside the Marine Department, Tourist Police Bureau, and the Governor of Phuket, along with private sector assistance, to make sure that nobody leaves the island during the two-week arrival time frame. While waiting through the 14-day arrival period, travelers will be swabbed, tested on the day of arrival, the 6th day and the 12th day to confirm they are negative for COVID-19, according to the Center for Economic Situation Administration. All arrivals to Phuket must be fully vaccinated, with the exception of young children traveling from vaccinated adults. The scheme also does not permit tourists from high-risk regions such as Africa, South America, and and right now, America and Canada, until the COVID-19 situation is improved in their own country. The government still hopes to attain its goal of 129,000 international travelers in the third quarter of 2021, despite cutting the estimation of arrival in July from 29,700 to only 14,850, after blowback from the 14-day rule. They believe that increase of arrivals in August and September will allow them to still reach that goal. So a little bit of a slower start, but hopefully the same end result. This update is supplied by Bangkok Post. Today, Thailand aims for wider tourism reopening from October. This is really big news. The country plans to waive its mandatory quarantine for vaccinated visitors to its capital, Bangkok, and top tourist destinations from October. Deputy Government Spokesman Trasuli Kasaralanku said on Friday, in a bid to revive the key industry battered by coronavirus travel curbs, the new measure 
means easier access to hotspots like Pattaya, uh, Kopanyang, Koh Samui, Krabi, and the capital Bangkok. She said, among 10 provinces that will welcome tourists with proof of vaccination against COVID-19 from October 1st. Thailand has since a year ago tightened visa processes and required all visitors and returning residents to undergo 14 days of quarantine in government-approved facilities. The announcement comes as the resort of Phuket, as we have mentioned previously, prepares to open to vaccinated travelers in July in a pilot scheme for the broader plan. It is seeking to inoculate most of its residents before the reopening and before mass vaccinations begin in the rest of Thailand. Tourism is a key source of income and jobs for Thailand. In 2019, it welcomed a record 39 million visitors who spent 1.91 trillion baht. That compared with 6.7 million arrivals last year. The new plan could draw 3.5 million tourists this year, generating 298 million baht in revenue. Ms. Trasoli said in a statement, adding that at least 70% of the residents in each of the 10 provinces must first be inoculated. So the news continues to roll out and evolve as the Thai government attempts to work out the details to reopening its tourist industry. Everything announced is subject to change as we have seen and if you're interested in traveling to Thailand, I would suggest that you subscribe to this channel to keep up to date for further information. Here is a list of approved international carriers as of today. British Airways, Cathay Pacific, Etihad Airways, Qatar Airways, Emirates, and Israel El Al will operate flights to Phuket beginning in July, according to Yukjak Saporon, the Governor of Tourism Authority in Thailand. We will update information on Thailand as soon as it becomes available. Thanks for checking out The Rusty Traveler. Please subscribe, turn on notifications to stay in the loop of all your Asian travel openings. My name is Dave Federici and I hope to see you on the road.